Hello my friends, and no, that's not another video about Greek salad. Actually it is, but let me explain. Now it's dinner time, probably it's already not. I'm too lazy to get this in, and what do we do when we are not in the mood to cook something? Instant soup. No one that depressed me. We make salads. And I decided to take you through three different levels of Greek salad. Starting with the wrong one, then finishing with my favorite, but just wait for it, and then you'll be surprised. It's the best thing I ever tried in my life. No more talking, let's start. So, let's start with the wrong way to cook Greek salad. Why wrong? Because lettuce doesn't belong to it. It's something fast food chains like to put here to make the salad look more substantial. But if you like lettuce, that's okay. Additionally, it's easier to get than some other greens I'll suggest later. Now when it's come to chopping, I'm all for rustic approach. Greek salad is a bit like communism. Everyone is equal except for the supreme leader. Oh, and did you catch that cucumber shaving? It's optional, of course, especially if you're using English cucumber with delicate skin. There is a golden nugget of wisdom about Greek salad. It detests batch cooking. After refrigerating, the vegetables will become soapy and flavorless. It's best to prepare the salad right before serving. This version keeps it simple. Just a drizzle of olive oil, no fancy dressings to steal the spotlight. But if you crave one, wait for the next level. And the last quick tip for now. Feta is a soft cheese, and premature blending will turn your salad into a chaotic sea of white. Let's avoid that culinary catastrophe, shall we? Final touch to make the salad look fabulous. A drop of olive oil and a pinch of oregano. We have now moved on to level 2. Let's call it a weekday dinner because there are still no tricky ingredients. The method is mostly the same, so there are no special remarks here. Let's move to the fixing of mistakes. First things first, say goodbye to the soft cow milk feta and say hello to a major blend of cow milk and sheep's milk feta. This cheese brings a rich taste and a touch of noble acidity to our salad taking it to a whole new level. Now, let's fix one more mistake from the previous part. It's the absence of dressing. A salad without it is like a story without a plot twist. So let's fix it by cooking a vinaigrette-style one. Take three parts of olive oil, one part of vinegar, then dry oregano and ground paper and shake well. I prefer red wine cooking. And balsamic and white wine vinegar would also work well. Lastly, let's add some greens to the salad. Adding meat is a great option with no greens like basil or fresh oregano high on each. A handful is enough. Don't let the number of ingredients scale you. Because level 3 of Greek salad is a favorite one. To get started, finally chop the onions and soak them in a mixture of vinegar and water for a few minutes to quickly ferment them. This will add an extra layer of flavor to the salad. As for tomatoes, colorful cherry tomatoes will affect not the taste, but the look of the salad for better. What actually will change the taste are sun dried tomatoes. Don't add too much. Just a few pieces are enough. To achieve the traditional Greek salad flavor, use basil, fresh oregano and mint. These greens add to the salad's taste and aroma, and I'm hardly keeping myself from eating it right now. Of course, if you don't have access to basil and oregano, you can replace them with other herbs. As for olives, now I use black and green ones. Some may say the latter don't belong here, but I believe they do. What doesn't belong to Greek salad are canned Spanish-style Californian olives. If you're not a fan of black olives, there's a reason why. I made no dressing in a jar, but squeeze the lemon and added oil and seasonings to the bowl. 
That also works if you mix everything well. You may also use vinegar instead of lemon, everything depends on your taste. Finally, a tip before we eat. Don't add any salt to the Greek salad. The feta cheese and olives are salty enough. I hope you learned something today. Maybe watch this video. Maybe you like it. I don't know. I don't even know what will be here. Just tap here. Watch it. See you. Bye bye.